Many of us have that one thing on our to-do list that never seems to get done. Maybe it's finishing our CV, taking that action step to healthier lifestyle, or working out, or even following on your passions such as traveling. It's easy to put it off just by saying to yourself, I'll do it later, I'll do it tomorrow. Or maybe, I'm too busy, too broke, too stressed, too old slash young, too inexperienced. There are so many tools we could use. Regardless on what you're procrastinating on, one thing tends to be the same for everyone. It's really frustrating, and it is the wall between what we want and what we get. So if you find it challenging to start a task, or find yourself getting easily distracted while doing a task, here you will learn 7 ways how to approach ampers and deal with procrastination, so you can conquer it once and for all. 7 Ways to Conquer Procrastination 1s Ampersand for all 1 pound Become aware We come up with all sorts of reasons why now or today just isn't the right time. Procrastination is very easy to rationalize. Occasionally those reasons are valid. But more often than not, they are simply excuses for not doing the real work. Start noticing when you are procrastinating and notice why. Learn to recognize your procrastinating behaviors, any avoidance or inner resistance, and become conscious of your actions. Keep track of how much you procrastinate and how much work you get done each day to help you be more aware. 2 pounds. Self-compassion. A lot of people use self-criticism ampers and self-beating and even self-sabotage as a way to stop procrastination. We say things like, oh I procrastinate, I'm so lazy, I'm so stupid and that's not helpful. People think if I'm not mean to myself or push myself, I'm never going to get this done. We have this belief that if there isn't some sort of negative consequence, if there isn't some pain involved then we won't take action. The reasons for it are our beliefs and the way we think due to our fear-driven mind. Fear of failure, fear of success, fear of being judged, etc. And every moment we beat ourselves up for procrastinating is just further procrastination. When you notice fear in your present moment, take a deep breath, acknowledge it. Don't give it any emotions and do not identify with it. Do not make it part of you. Just stay present and let it pass through. Ask yourself, what's stopping me from starting or completing this task? What am I scared of right now? Once you know your fears you can then start working on removing your negative and limiting beliefs. Just give yourself a break. Be kind to yourself. 3 pounds. Focus. Focus on the task fully. Pay attention to it. Remove all distraction around you. This includes any connection to social media such as Twitter and Facebook, TV or even people you work with. Set yourself a certain amount of time, perhaps an hour or two, depending on your project, to be completely focused on your task in an environment without any distractions. 4 pounds. Clarify on purpose. What is it that you want to achieve? Is this a necessary step to get you to your desired outcome? Why does it matter? If you don't see a purpose or the end result of what you are about to do, then it's no wonder you don't feel like doing it. Be really clear on what you want to achieve, what the purpose is. This will help you to stay on task and work towards your desired outcome. 5 pounds. Set desired outcomes. Make yourself an old-fashioned to-do list. List everything, big and small, that you have to do for your entire day. If you have a big task ahead that can feel overwhelming, break it into smaller bits if necessary. Writing down our goals makes it real and not just an idea in our head. Then as you work through your day, check off each of the items on your list. 6 pounds. Love your perfect imperfections. I think we are all perfectionists in our own way. Our desire to make everything perfect makes us overcomplicate a project. What's actually a simple task may get blown out of proportion. This makes us procrastinate on it, waiting for that perfect moment. But that perfect moment never comes. Acknowledge that there's no such thing as perfect time or perfect way of doing something or perfect people for that matter. Know that it's okay to make mistakes. It's all part of the experience, part of our learning process. 
Begin with what you have or know right now, and write it down. 7 pounds. Action ampersand accountability. It all comes down to taking action. We can do all the thinking, strategizing, planning we like, but unless we do something about it, nothing will get done. At the end of the day, review your to-do list. Did you meet all of the goals that you set for the day? If not, what stopped you? Be really honest with yourself. And if you don't feel you are strict enough with yourself and still find excuses to justify why something didn't get completed, share your to-do list with someone. Someone who will hold you accountable, either a friend or a work colleague or your coach. Which one of the seven steps do you think will help you the most? Whatever it is that you want to achieve, just keep going and keep creating. You can live and have the life you want and desire.